Hi guys, how you doing? I uh, just want to do a little uh, haul video. Picked up a f uh, some clothing from the state sale today. Uh, not the most profitable sale I've ever done. But I was looking for some interesting things. And that's what happens sometimes when you look for interesting things, you tend to overpay. Uh, it's a two-day sale. Usually you want to go on the second day. But, you know, I wanted to go at least the first day to... Um, to see what they have, and then uh, you know maybe I'll go back tomorrow because tomorrow you can always get much much lower prices. Okay, all right. So first, this is a basic T-shirt. This, but uh, I mean everything is designer, but nothing fancy about this. I saw the label. I know this label as well. This is theory. Uh, here's another item. Not sure which year this is from, if this is newer, or maybe if it might even be an older item, but it's really sharp looking. This is zigzag print. This is Mizzoni, Italian name. It's not bad. Really sharp looking. It's a big, some of the stuff is big sizes, so anything that's big is something that stood out to me. This is a Versace jeans couture, which doesn't do bad. This isn't, this isn't, uh, it's one of the not lower labels, but it's not the highest label. Uh, it's got these cool buttons, nice buttons. But what I liked is on the back it has a big eagle on the back, so that should do all right. Uh, let's see what we got here. Next one here is just uh, Nat Nast. Uh, not too fancy about this one. Pretty good condition. Looking for flaws. I don't see much. Uh, some of the stuff did have flaws, but I'll, I'll show you. But uh, Nat Nass, this is instant money, so, you know, can't go wrong. Here, I didn't even notice. This is a Polo Ralph Lauren. Just for showing here. Doesn't have any logos or badges on it. Nothing on the back. It's just a white... Uh, hoodie, but definitely will sell anything Polar Ruff Lauren sells. Here's an interesting piece. This is another vest. It's like a you can see my finger through it. This is from uh, a brand that I like, but it doesn't do so great. But I still buy it anyway because I like it. It's Ermenegil Dozenia. Maybe because I just like saying it. That's a nice vest here. It's a large. It's a really sharp looking shirt. Now I'm going to show you some nice stuff. Stuff you don't find every day. This is a Armani Collezione. This is a viscose. Very nice. I mean, I, this shirt stands out from a mile away. It's beautiful. Mesh kind of shirt. It does have some flaws. Which I, of course, naturally didn't notice until I got home. But probably still would have bought it anyway. Couple of pinholes, but beautiful looking shirt. Striped. I mean, this shirt, you could see this shirt coming from a mile away. There's another brand I didn't know. Uh, but it was so cool looking. See, these people, the, the neighborhood that I went into was a very, very exclusive neighborhood. Um, very high end area. So sometimes you'll see brands that, you know, you, uh, you never heard of. I mean, because there's there's thousands of designers out there, but this is cool. Got a design on here. It's called Custo Barcelona. Seem like they sell. Not huge money, but decent money. Uh, you know, I picked it up. I like the way it looked. I don't think you know. I don't think it, I think it's supposed to be V like that, but could go wrong. Okay, yeah, so, and, and also, you say, well, why don't you just look it up on your phone? But, I know it sounds kind of weird, but in some of these areas, on the North Shore, you know, on Long Island, on the North Shore, you, uh, <laughs> there's no cell phone service. You know, you, there's no, uh, you know, you, you know, it's you're so far up there that you're not, get, you're not getting, you're not getting, uh, you know, the phone could work. Some, a lot of times the phone doesn't even work, you know, because you're not near any towers or anything. Here's a very nice shirt. Very cool summery shirt. Hopefully, yeah, that's I picked out some stuff for the summer. 
What material is this? I don't know, viscose. This is uh, Vers another one, Versace Jeans Couture. I picked it up because it had it on the side, so. All right. Now, hold on one second. All right, now here's one, which I even noticed it had a big hole in it. I'm going to try to fix this hole. So I say, well, why did you spend money on something with a hole? But uh, this is a very, very high-end brand, Malo. This is super, super high-end. Look these up online. You'll see what I'm talking about, and you'll know why. That's why I picked it up. It's a ribbed sweater, beautiful, 100% cashmere. So I figure, you know what, I'll stitch it up. Someone will buy it. This is another one that I was loving, but which I didn't know had a big hole in the back. It's a quarter zip sweater, which I think are beautiful. This is uh, versus Gianni Versace. This is a higher end label than the Jeans Couture. Beautiful virgin wool. Now, here's a, now I need some help over here. I don't know if anyone's ever heard of this brand. It's like a mesh. It felt like heavy duty, so I picked it up. Called Front. I don't know. I looked it up on eBay. Couldn't find anything. If anybody's ever heard of this brand, please, please let me know. Okay. Now, another thing I picked up. This, this family had a ton of, like, ski jackets. Okay. Now, I don't know anything about... I never went skiing in my life. But, first, is this even a ski jacket? Okay, I don't even know what the hell this was. I picked it up because it had all these vibrant colors with a hood brand called Decente. I don't know. Decente. Can't even pick it up. But it's uh, D-E-S-C-E-N-T-E. -E. You know, I looked, I did some of the completed searches and, you know, some jackets sell for 20, some sell for 220. So, I don't know which one is which, but, you know, sometimes you got to take a chance, you know. Decente. Okay. All right. Now, this is what I think I'm going to make some money with. Hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, let's see here. Uh, where did I put that other jacket? This here, I saw this. Looked like a regular Ralph Lauren wool sweater. It's gonna pass on it, obviously. You know what I mean? Because if you have to pay up, it's it's not worth it to to uh, to to buy Ralph Lauren at a lot of these sales because you don't get that much, you know, on eBay unless it's unique. But then I looked on the side and it had this skiing patch. Now I know a lot of the items that have the skiing on it, they go for big money. So I'm gonna I. I you know, I'm going to hope this this is going to save me on this lot. You know, this is what's going to make it profitable with this sweater. It's going to make it a good sale. Oh, and I want to show you one other jacket that I picked up. This was at an, another estate sale I went to over the weekend. It's a polo sport jacket. Okay, this is vintage polo sport. This looks like 1990s. I picked this up. State sale. Nice looking. The only problem is that you really can't. It's hard to wash this jacket because the dry cleaner doesn't want to touch it because of these letters. All right. So let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if you know anything about those uh, those brands that front and also that decente. You know, if anybody knows about these or any skiing jackets, because I'm gonna go back tomorrow and. Uh, if anybody has any uh, tips for me, appreciate it. All right, thanks.